Hi there, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. It is all about using up all that leftover ink that's on your stencils today. I don't want to waste that leftovers, so I have a great way to get a two for one from your, your project by using up that leftover ink on your stencil. Hope you'll stick around for all the details. I'm featuring the new Chatty Hearts two layer heart stencils and then some other fun products for a happy birthday card. For my Hey Girl card I I'm using Distress Oxides and a finger dauber and just pressing that ink through the stencil. And when I picked up that stencil there was all this Distress Oxide left on there and I really didn't want to waste all that ink. It's so pretty and I thought, what can I do to save it and use it for something else? So I picked that up, I grabbed a piece of Hammer Mill cardstock, sprayed a light mist of water over my stencil to kind of activate that ink, and then I just smushed it down onto that cardstock. You can add a lot more water, get more of a watercolor look, um, but I just wanted a nice impression of those hearts, and it looked really cool. So for my second layer, I did the exact same thing. I just lit, brought back out that paper, spritzed my stencil lightly with water, and then smushed it down. I didn't even worry about making sure those hearts lined up with the registration mark at all. I just wanted a really kind of messy mixed media look, and I didn't want to waste any of that ink. And then I decided to turn it into a birthday card. So I'm using the Many More Birthdays stamp set and matching die cut. I use the Misty to help with the alignment of the die cut and the stamp. And then I'm just going to pull out the same oxide colors and uh, finger daubers that I used previously. Uh, I don't have the ink pads, so you could easily just use your ink pads. Um, but I'm using the re the reinkers instead. And I'm just going to do a bit of a tricolor look with this stamp. I'm going to start with the green and kind of focus on the happy. And then I'll come in and add the salvage patina in the middle. And I like the way that the oxides kind of blend together as well. And I'll just stamp that down, make sure I get a nice impression. And then at the bottom, I used the worn lipstick and kind of blended that into the, the salvage, salvage patina. And that kind of created this pretty rainbow effect on my sentiment. I was pretty happy with it. And then that'll match our background perfectly because I'm using the same colors. I covered my card base with my background. And I'm just going to add a light hint of hickory smoke ink blending around the edge just kind of give it a bit of a border and to help those colors really pop against the, the white background. And then I'm just going to do the same thing to my sentiment. Again I'm using a really light hand. I just want a light shadow of that gray ink. To separate the sentiment from the background I have a die cut piece of blue cardstock and I'm just going to lightly blend on some gray hearts using that stencil. I'm not even worrying about the registration marks. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and using that hickory smoke distress ink uh, for the, the ink blending. I just really love how easy it is to overlap these hearts with these two stencils. And here is the finished card with all those colorful, grungy looking hearts for the background using up our leftover ink and a colorful birthday sentiment to match. The different die cut layers to finish this card off beautifully and it's ready to be sent out for a heartfelt birthday. I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video on my Dollhouse Designs YouTube channel and blog. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed, plus if you have any questions or sweet comment, post below. Thanks again for creating with me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!